Hello and welcome to this channel. In this video, we are going to look at how to calculate bearings. If you are new to this channel, I encourage you to subscribe for more math lessons. So here is an exam question. Two boards X and Y leave port, port P at the same time. So this is port P. So two boards, port X and port Y, uh, they left this port, port P, at the same time. X travels, travels on a bearing of uh, 159 and Y travels on a bearing of 215 as shown in the diagram below. So we can see that X traveled uh, on a bearing of 159 and Y traveled on a bearing of, uh, of 215, 215. Okay, so from the previous videos, uh, we said bearing is measured with respect to the north. So if you haven't watched that video yet, or if you haven't watched those videos yet, uh, I, I request you that you watch the video by clicking on the link that is showing uh, above here just now. Okay, so the question says... Uh, Find the bearing of X from Y. So, for example, if you have two points, let's say you have two points, point A and B, and then they say find the bearing of A uh, from, from B. So, in the previous videos, we said the word from is very, very important, is super important in bearings so it, when they say find the bearing of a from b it means they want you to find the bearing of this whilst you are standing at b so the point at which you are standing you are supposed to draw a north so the bearing of a from b it means you are standing at b and then you are supposed to draw a north with a ruler here and you indicate that it's a north with a ruler so we also said bearing is measured clockwise from the north. So the reference is the north. So clockwise, it means you're moving like this until you reach the line that connects A and B. So meaning this is the bearing that they are asking you to find, the bearing of A from B. Again, if they are asking you to find the bearing of B from A, it means they want you to find the bearing of B whilst standing at A. So where you are standing, you need to draw a north. So you draw a north as well. Uh, this is a north again. And then we said bearing is measured with respect, uh, with respect from the north. So meaning you are starting from the north until you, you clockwise until you reach the line that connects A and B, A and B. So this is the bearing that they they want you to find when they say B from A. Okay, so we also say bearing is, me is usually measured uh, with three digits. Okay, now coming to this question that we have here, uh, find the bearing of X from Y. So they want you to find the bearing of X whilst standing at Y. So the point at which you are standing, you need to draw a north. Okay, so you draw a north. This north should be parallel to this other north. So draw a north like this. Okay. So after drawing a north like this, so this is a north. Now, bearing, we said bearing is measured from the north until we meet the line that connects X and Y. Okay. So we're going to move from the north until we meet this line. So we are moving like this. So this is the bearing. Uh, this is the bearing that they want uh, you to find so from the north until you reach the line that connects x and y okay so meaning the bearing uh, of of x from y is this angle here and this angle added together but how are we going to find this angle here we are going to find this angle by first considering uh, extending this north so let's extend this north let's consider extending this north like this okay so 
uh, the angle from here, from the top north up to here, it's 180. Okay? From here, coming clockwise up to here, because this is a straight line, and angles on a straight line uh, have the sum of 180 degrees. So from here, uh, clockwise up to here, this is 180. Okay. So out of 180, we are saying from here up to, coming all the way up to here, because we want to find this angle here. This angle and this angle are going to be alternate angles. So if we find this angle, it means it is going to be equal to this angle here. So we are going to say from here up to here is 180. Then up to here is 215. So for us to find uh, this angle here, we are going to say uh, 215, which is the total, 215, which is the total. Okay, 215 degrees, which is the total, minus... 180 okay minus 180 degrees so uh, 215 minus 180 degrees then the angle that we're going to find is this one that is going to remain here so here we are going to have okay 5 minus 0 is 5 then this here we have 11 minus 5 is 3 and then here we have 1 so here. So this angle here is 35 degrees. Okay? So this angle here is, is 35 degrees. So this is a parallel line and this is a parallel line. The, these north, north things are parallel lines. So meaning this angle here is equal to this angle here. Reason because alternate angles are equal. So they are alternate angles because they are even forming, you can see that they are even forming a Z shape, a Z shape. So this angle is equal to this angle here. Okay? So even this one is 35 degrees. So now uh, we can say bearing of X, okay, bearing of X from Y is going to be equal to uh, 35 plus 41, this one. Because we already established that this is the bearing that, they, that is required. So we're going to say 35 degrees plus 41 degrees. That gives uh, uh, 70, 76 degrees. But remember, bearing is measured using three digits. So this is going to be equal to... This is going to be equal to 0, 7, 6 degrees. So this is now the bearing. This is an angle and this is a, a bearing. Bearing is always measured uh, using three digits. Okay. Three digits is always written using three digits. Okay. Hope that's clear. Next, they want you to find the bearing of P from X of P whilst you are standing at X. Okay, so the point at which we are standing, again, we are going to draw a north. We are going to draw a north like this. This is a north. So, for us to find the bearing, the bearing of P from X. P whilst standing at X. So, bearing is measured uh, from the north clockwise until we reach the line that connects P, X, P and X which is this one. So this is the bearing that they want uh, you to find. Now, how are we going to find this bearing here? So we're going to consider uh, the total 10. The total 10 is 360, but out of 360, we don't know this angle here. So how are we going to find this angle here? So we're going to use this bearing here. We said from here, Coming up to here is 180. But out of 180, we have been given 159. Okay? So meaning for us to find um, 
this angle here we are going to say 180 from there up to here minus 159 which gives 21 degrees so this little angle here is 21 degrees now when you look at when you look at uh, this angle here and this angle there are alternate angles and alternate angles are equal so meaning even this angle here is 21 degrees you can also see that uh, a z shape is being formed here so this angle and this angle are equal so meaning for us to find the bearing of p from x we are moving from here up to the line that connects p and x this bearing here we are going to say uh, we are going to say 360 degrees which is the full 10 minus uh, 21 degrees 21 degrees okay uh, so here we have 9 um, 5 minus 3 uh, minus 2 is 3 then 300, 339 so the bearing of P from X is 339 so since this is an exam question this has been your working what you do is you come and write your answers here. So for part A, the bearing of X from Y, we said is 0, 7, 6 degrees. We've, I've gotten your marks there. Then, yeah. Then for the bearing of P from X, we say we found that it's 339 degrees. So 339 degrees. So that's how we solve problems involving bearings. Once again, I encourage you to subscribe to this video, to this channel, and also comment.